Hey guys, it's Riley or I'll surf it over on Instagram and Poshmark and today I'm here with an Urban Outfitters Helpsy Source unboxing. I look like this because I was not planning to film this today. I was actually right before this package was delivered about to sit down and check my email to see if it had been shipped because it took a few days longer to get here than my other Helpsy Source box which was a Shein one and honestly this is what I look like a day in a life of a full-time reseller. So I purchased this box to take, oh, sorry if you can hear the dishwasher again, like I probably shouldn't be filming this right now, but I wanna get it done because I bought this box, this and the Shein box to take to buy, sell, trade, Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange in Chicago to do trading credit. They get 50% trading credit. And so I believe the, cost per item of this box as is right now came out to like four dollars and fifty cents um i don't think this receipt i haven't looked in the box but here's the receipt i got 40 pieces but it does not have how much i paid i used someone's helps you source discount code so i got this for like 160 something dollars instead of 180 sorry i lost a nail last night <laughs> um anyway this is 40 pieces of urban outfitters brands my intention is to take these items to buy sell trade consignment to sell and get money to purchase higher end items that sell for maybe closer maybe higher like 80 to over 100 dollars um if there happens to be a piece i really like in here and want to list i will list it myself but urban outfitters tends to sit for me and doesn't sell for very much so we'll have to see now would I recommend you do this? I don't know because I haven't done it yet. I've taken these items to buy such so trade. I don't know if I'll do this again. I'm pretty confident I'll at least make my money back, but profit, eh, we'll see. <laughs> oh, that sounds bad. But this is $4.50 is at the higher end of what I will pay for a consignment item. My hopes for this box is current items in good condition. And that's about it. <laughs> um. I'm a little nervous. I kind of, I don't regret purchasing this. I don't regret purchasing this box, but do I think it's gonna be awesome? I don't think so, <laughs> which sounds bad. Um, Denali, I'll do Joe Thrift often says with like liquidation things, if you're not comfortable like lighting this money on fire, then don't do it. So while I would love to have $160 extra in my bank account, nothing is lost if like this turns out to be a crap box my life is not ruined so without further ado let's get into the box okay one quick note um items that are not in resellable or donatable condition will be textile recycled i use the company for days you can look into it if you're interested um items i don't feel that buy sell trade will accept will go to a homeless shelter donate well, I will donate to a homeless shelter in hopes they will not end up in a landfill. Okay, well, let's get into the box. Okay, first thing I see off the top. Okay, so, oh, actually, this is a good piece. I'm happy with this. I might list this myself. So this is like the newer Urban Outfitters. Urban Outfitters doesn't really do their sub brands anymore. They pretty much just have Urban Outfitters tags. Um, I'm so, why am I trying to film this now? Helps you source has these barcode sticker things that you'll need to take off. Okay, so here's the first piece, Urban Outfitters. Now with the Shein box, it kind of seemed like they put better pieces on top, so I'm kind of wondering if that's what will happen with this. This is cute. I don't know whether I will list this or take this to buy, sell, trade. I do think they'll buy this if I take it to buy, sell, trade. So the first piece is a score. Okay, this looks interesting. We got a, I'm assuming BDG which is an Urban Outfitters brand. Yes, and this is a newer BDG tag. Um, this is cute, turtleneck. Uh, I don't, sorry about the lighting. I know it's not great. It's pretty gloomy out today. I don't know if they'll buy this currently um, because it's out of season and my buy sell trade stores pretty much only buy in season pieces, but I do think eventually this is something they would purchase from me. We got a pair of shorts. Oh, that's good. Oh, it's a skirt <laughs> still. Okay, also BDG, newer piece. Um, slightly like a newer tag it's not maybe the newest but i don't know i will take this to them but it's like a snake skin mini skirt i just don't know how much 
how many skirts they really purchase but um it will go to them and i will sell anything like all this trendy stuff i will list if they do not accept oh i'm excited about this print okay i'm i mean i know we're only three pieces in and there's 40 pieces but pretty happy with this so far urban outfitters so urban tag um this is great for summer is it a romper yes it's a romper Ooh, okay i'm happy with this box so far <laughs> four pieces in it i'm happy hopefully uh there's no buttons missing oh no bus nothing wrong that i see um i do believe i'll say that for later. so i might list this although if i list all the good stuff what will i take to buy some train? um okay next piece okay this looks cute too oh there's not a brand on here unless their sticker is covering it up it is oh okay it's sunday best i don't know if that's an urban outfitters brand i feel like this is an aritzia brand it's a little sunflower embroidered tee i'm gonna google this really quick okay yes this is an aritzia piece so um i'll look up to see what it's selling for but i think this will be buy sell trade just because of how basic it is but let me think if they price this yeah i'll make money Oh my gosh, this is cute. Okay, guys, this box is... Maybe I should have bought more of these in Lush Shein. This is Out From Under, which is an urban brand. And this is really cute. Oh, no. There's a tiny flaw on the front. Like, a teeny tiny mark. Yeah, you can see it right there. Oh, are there two? There might actually be, like, two marks. So, I'll throw this in my bin to take them. It's just a bodysuit with this cute sun print and a super open back. <laughs> so I'll throw this in my bed to take to them, but I'll list it if they don't take it because of those marks. Um, the Helpsy Source, I think they do say they have like a 10 to 15% flaw rate, so. Okay, next. Um, Urban Outfitters tag, like a corset top. I feel like all this stuff I could list. <laughs> So there's the tag. My intention was to take the buy, sell, trade, and now I'm kind of like, I want to list all these pieces and go buy another box because this box is good so far. Okay, this is a basic kimchi blue. Okay, so here's our first older label piece, but it's still like a decent like summer piece. I'm hoping for tank tops and summer pieces coming up for summer because that's what my buy, sell, trade stores are shopping for. Um, I do think they will buy this just because it's still cute. Um, and I'm not seeing any flaws with this. I'm looking at it like for myself, like, do I want this? But I don't really wear V-necks. Okay, this print has been staring me down from the top of the box. It looks like a pair of pants. Urban Outfitters, oh my gosh, guys. This Urban Outfitters box, I know it was more expensive than my last Shein box, if you have not seen that. Okay, these look like culottes, almost. This is a much, oh, is there a spot? No, it's just the lighting. Um higher end like more expensive than she and obviously and trendier pieces so far i mean again i paid way more than i did for the Shein pieces but i was oh there is a stain um that's fine oh there's a couple i mean i'm still okay with that like you can barely see them they blend into the print pretty well and it's something if my trade doesn't sell i will list so my thoughts as i'm opening this is I paid less for the Shein, but with the Shein, I was expecting all super trendy stuff like this because Shein is such fast fashion and they produce so much that I figured people would rotate it out of their closet relatively quickly. But this so far has been trendier than the Shein box. Knock on wood. Next piece. Okay. Um, this is Urban Outfitters. It's a little more worn, you can tell, because the tag is <laughs> pretty worn. It is just a thermal button up um again more of a fall winter piece but that's okay i can hold on to it for a little while if they don't want it now i mean this could be like a spring piece too so the reason that i decided to film this video looking a hot mess today is because i'm thinking about taking stuff to buy sell trade tomorrow yeah i want to i have so much stuff in my house for buy sell trade right now i just kind of want to move it out so that's why i want to get this video filmed okay next piece so we got some stripes fall it's a turtleneck oh it's a turtleneck dress um let's check the brand on this bdg so this is something this is like 
what I would assume is an older BDG, maybe from like 2016. I mean, I still think it's like trendy cute. It's actually, I thought it was like, it's got a slight flare. Um, this is not something I think they'll buy right now. This is definitely something I'll have to hold on to for a little while. And I think I could list this and make a small profit, but this is something that I'd rather just hold on to. And then if they don't take in the fall, list it, which I mean, it's pretty basic. I don't know if they'd accept that but good condition okay this feels like pants oh bdg again okay these are oh they're skinny <laughs> um bdg newer bdg so here let me compare these to bdg tag for you newer older this is not my best work <laughs> okay so i mean all these pieces have been wins so far um okay so these are like a skinny leg and they've got this zipper down the side. I don't think Barcel Trade will accept these. If they were a different fit, I think they would, but because they're a skinny leg, I don't think they will accept them. I'll still throw them in there though, you never know. And these will probably get listed on Poshmark. This looks really cute. Oh my gosh, look at this print. Oh, they're pants. Okay, so I feel like this is something I wanna list. I do think um, Buy, Sell, Trade would accept these, but, these are cute and I want to list them. They're size small, Urban Outfitters tag. Like, cute. I'm pretty happy with this box so far. I'm surprised. I was thinking I was going to get, like, I watched someone do an unboxing and hers was like middle of the road. Like, got some older pieces, got some newer pieces. These are pretty much all of the newer Urban Outfitters tag, I'd say within the last four years maybe, and good pieces so far. Okay, this looks like a graphic tee. Oh, not a graphic tee? Okay. Um, we got a strappy dress with an Urban Outfitters tag. Okay, is this like some, oh, it's potentially new without tag. Sometimes they do like an Urban Renewal line. Um, and that's what the tag looks like. This does not look like Urban Renewal though. Um, this is a pretty good piece, I would say. Like, definitely a print people are looking for. Guys, I'm thinking, I said I was gonna do this for our buy, sell, trade, but I'm thinking I'm gonna list most of this. We got another pair of denim. Okay, these are much more trendy what my buy, sell, trade stores are looking for. They are like a cargo jean and BDG. They are the relaxed skate jean, size 25 inch waist. So this is something I would list, but because of the waist size 25 inch, I might take it to buy, sell, trade first um just because since it's a 25 inch waist it might sit longer although i did sell a pair of 24 inch waist jeans today <sighs> either way i'm happy with it i'll either sell it or buy sell trade will buy it from me okay i took a sneak peek in the box it's all folded so i don't know what it is but there's some stuff that looks good maybe i'll do mm, i'm gonna do a piece that looks good and a piece that looks not so good so i'm gonna grab both of those a piece that looks good and a piece that looks not so good let's start with the not so good yeah, this looks outdated. Uh, maybe not. It looks like a kimono. It's silence and noise. So I do not purchase silence and noise. This is an older line from Urban Outfitters. I don't think they make it anymore. But it's not, I mean, I don't like the print, but it's not like a terribly outdated piece. I mean, I'd say, oh, oh just, it's like short sleeve kimono. Sorry, it's hard to show. Um, it's, it's not awful, but I don't really like it. It will go to buy, sell, trade, and I don't think they'll purchase this from me, so I guess I'll have to list it. Okay, the piece that looks cute, though. Okay, BDG Urban Outfitters Crocheted Top. Cute. This is definitely what my buy, sell, trade stores will be looking for, but now I'm struggling. Do I want to take this to them or do I want to sell it myself? I'll have to check comps on some of these, like, tank tops. If it's selling for $15, um, my profit would probably be more um, selling it myself, even if it's only at $15, but it, I'll get credit and move it faster with the buy, sell, trade. Sorry, you can see my pile accumulating. Next piece feels like denim shorts. Okay, they're not, they're BDG. Um, no tag. So I don't like selling shorts. That is one thing. I just like, I'll sell pretty much anything. I hate selling shorts. Super weird, they don't have a tag, but they do have 
this BDG here and the button says BDG. And I mean, they do have an interior tag, but there's no size tag, which makes me think Buy, Sell, Trade will not purchase these from me. But I mean, they do purchase stuff without sizes. Are there stains? Um, maybe some like faint wear, but nothing terrible. I will take these to Buy, Sell, Trade because I don't like selling shorts. I just, I don't think they sell for that much. They take a long time for me to sell. I just don't like selling shorts. Okay, we got some plaid. This feels like a dress. I am so happy with this box. Like, oh, it's cute. Okay. Urban Outfitters, again, potentially new without tag. Plaid, if they have another one of these boxes, I'm gonna go purchase it because, dang it, my pile's getting in the way. Guys, okay, so look how cute this is. So cute. And sent right to my door for a reasonable price of about $4.50 per item. Like, sure, if you get like a kimchi blue tank top that I showed earlier, not something I'd pay $4.50 for, but it evens out among all the pieces. I would have been super happy with my Shein box if all the items were as trendy as this. Um, I'd say about half of the box was like trendy enough and the other half was outdated. I'm just like mind boggled right now. I mean, obviously some boxes are gonna be better than others. Okay, we got a mesh item, which I'm excited for because my buy sell trade store is like mesh. It is Urban Outfitters. We have not seen this tag today yet, but that yeah, is an urban tag. Um, oh, I like this. <laughs> I'm not a mesh person, but I like the print they have going on. So the button front dress, I really like this. I would wear this if I knew how to wear mesh dresses. And here's like the print, that's pretty cool. It's got like angels. Awesome. I mean, okay, so the stuff might, oh, I can't wear this, it's a deep V. Wait, is it a deep V? It looks like a deep V, okay, whatever. Um, yes. I'm very surprised with the amount of dresses in this box. And as I say that, we're pulling out two pairs of denim. We got a pair of jeans, BDG, these are the Girlfriend High Rise and 26 inch waist button fly black jeans. I would love it. Oh, these look very cropped. Interesting. Um, I don't think my buy sell trade store is going to be buying jeans right now. So my uh, buy sell trade stores will buy like the cargo jeans I showed earlier. I think they'd buy those year round, but like skinny, or I guess they said they're a girlfriend. These, I think they pass on just because of season and they get so much of stuff like this. They're not unique enough. So I think I'll end up listing these and then our next pair of denim. This one looks a little, uh, maybe not. BDG size 26. Um, you don't really need to see the tag anymore. Raw hem at the top, but they are skinny. I really wish these were like a flare leg. Again, I feel like I'm gonna have to end up listing these ones, but I'm gonna still take them because I don't feel like listing jeans. If you did not, I don't like, I pretty much won't sell shorts and I do sell jeans. I just don't like, they're my least favorite thing to list. I like shoes. Okay, we got some stripes. Let's do this one. Cause this is looking pretty fun. Gosh, this is amazing. I'm so happy with this box. Urban Outfitters, again. Look how cute this is. Adorable, out of season. They might buy this for spring though. And if this was my size, I think I would wear this, but it's a small and it feels like an extra, I mean, I'm sure it stretches, it looks like an extra small. Awesome. Perfect. This is exactly what I'm looking for. Okay, this stripe, this looks slightly outdated. It is Urban Outfitters tag though. Um, it's fine. I don't know if they'll accept this. I feel like this is more maybe like 2018 style, <laughs> which is so crazy. We're like, fashion man. Okay, we got three things here. We got some BDG, lots of BDG. Okay, another skirt. Again, I don't know, they're just a medium. Um, I don't know how they do skirts. I feel like this is like almost like a mini skirt, which is trendy right now, so we'll see. Okay, this is our first piece that looks like, uh, I was gonna say it has some pilling, but I don't even think this is pilling. I think this is just the fabric. Oh, it looks like a men's. Uh, BDG, I don't think they'll accept this. And honestly, I don't know if I'll list this because it's just a tank. It, uh, 
I think it's actually woman's based on the cut. Like it's kind of curved at the bottom. Let me know. Do you think this is men's or women's tank? Um, this is like a perfectly acceptable tank top. I just don't think they'll buy this. I feel like it's men's, but it's a medium. I don't know. I'll throw it in there and if they pass on it, figure out what I'm going to do with it after. <laughs> okay, we got corduroys from BDG. Yeah. Okay, this is an older BDG tag and these are men's maybe? Older BDG. Very corduroy. Um, okay, they're like short, so I think a women's, but they're a size 30, which is for a second where I thought they would be men's, but that's a pretty small waist for a man, so corduroy i'll probably if they don't accept these i will list these just because they're corduroy straight leg jeans even if it's an older tag guys we have not had one complete dud yet like this is the closest i think we've gotten to a dud and the silence and noise thing wasn't awesome but <laughs> i mean i can't complain okay we got a pair of jeans here bdg size 26 inch waist and they're just basic skinny yeah so i don't think they will accept any of these skinny leg jeans but i'm gonna take them all just because i don't want to list them but i will if i have to um these pieces like in the last video i said i was taking in the Shein video i said i was taking stuff to play-dohs none of this stuff will likely be going to play-dohs i'll just list it because my cost of good is too high play-dohs give me like 50 cents and it's just not worth it okay Ooh. Oh, I was gonna say they're new with tags. They're not. They're from new with tags for five dollars from Second Street, which I'm assuming is resale. Um, they are out from underpants. So you know what I might actually do? No, I'm just gonna take this tag off. Okay. So eh, these are okay. I don't love the style. The print's good, but I feel like the style's not awesome. Oops, they're twisted. They're like a satiny-ish, not even satin, like jogger pant. Not my favorite, but like not bad, so. I think it's so funny they were $5 from this place. Okay, I got a pile of dark stuff. I'm just getting out of my pile's way. Okay, so these are a pair of pants. Ooh, <laughs> we got something that looks like it might be a dud. These are nice though, I like these. Urban Outfitters, of course size medium these are something i would actually wear but i kind of stopped wearing pants like this last year anyway um they look like they have some slight pilling on them but i can use the sweater shaver and get that right off and other than that they look like they're in good condition i might sell these okay i think we might have to change the video and say what i'm gonna sell and what's gonna go to buy sell trade okay this isn't looking too cute i'm just gonna be honest we'll see though yeah, this is a no from me. Um, this is, I kind of thought I would get more stuff. So here's another silence and noise. Um, very outdated. It's got, you know, the zipper on the side and the ruffle. I'm sorry if this is your style. It's just outdated. So this, like, is perfectly fine. I know buy, sell, trade, and get this for me. And I do think this looks like it came from a thrift store. Um, so this will be donated to a homeless shelter because... There's nothing wrong with it. It can still be worn. It's just not trendy enough for me to do anything with. So one piece so far, that's a no, which is really good considering our pile here. Okay, next piece. Oh, this is cute. Um, it's weird, it's got a tag here, but let's see. No tag so far. Oh, here it is. Urban Outfitters, I'm assuming, yeah, this is out from under size medium so this is the front it's like a not front long sleeve thermal uh i do think this would sell for like 15 dollars, which i'm not looking to spend 450 to mm, sell something for 15 but buy sell trade would buy this for me price it at 15 and i'd get half of that so i make a small profit <laughs> my logic may seem flawed here um anyway this was something i'd probably take to buy sell trade first next two items this one seems a little older let's see yeah, yes uh, we got a look or no this is Ecote. this was like i used to sell this when i first started reselling back in like 2015. um let's see the style it's not like awful i'm not gonna take it to them i don't think 
It's pretty basic and slightly outdated. This might be a donate piece too. Probably. Again, nothing wrong with it. It's just, I guess I could put it. There's, I'll put it in my pile, but I don't think they'll buy that. Next piece also seems maybe outdated. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Maybe not. Oh, um, no, it's just an out from under piece. Oh, it's a cardigan. Okay, out from under, this is a different tag than what we've seen. I think, I don't know if that one's newer or older. It is a cardigan. And it wraps with a waist tie. I don't know if, I don't feel like they'd accept this. I feel like this is too pajama-like for them, but I could list it to get some, recoup some money. This is the last pile um, of stuff. Let's just start looking. We got a black thing. Urban Outfitters tag. Oh, our first newest actual tags piece for $69. New tag from Urban Outfitters. It's got the urban tag. It is a jumps. Oh no, it's just a black maxi dress. Okay. Um, this is something that I would take to buy, sell, trade just because it's so basic and I'm sure I could find stock photos, but I would just probably rather not sell this myself. I don't know. I don't know, guys. This is a hard call. Next piece, we got another Urban Outfitters. This one looks like a black tie shirt. I actually like this. Not This is not the kind of clothes that are the most wearable for me. What the heck? It like, oh, it looks like it like ties down the front. This is super cute. I like this. I would wear it if I could. Um, okay, down. Okay, let's look at this because this doesn't look awesome. <laughs> it is a sports bra from the, oh, it's from Outdoor Voices. That's interesting. I wonder how that got in there. Okay, so um, I don't think they'll accept this just because it's a little faded. So I might just sell this myself for like uh, $13 or something. It's not like, it's not stained or anything. It's just faded. Some Urban Outfitters in a size small. Just a mustard knit. What's that called? Turtleneck. Our last piece is, okay, let's look at this because this, this could go either way. Oh, is it stained? Oh, this is kimchi blue. It's older, but I don't think the style is like all that bad. It is definitely like, you know, it's a little older, but I think I could still sell this for under $20. <laughs> I would probably grab this at the bins. Kimchi blue. It's fine. It's good for spring coming up. Last two pieces, you pick which one. Just kidding, I picked this one. We got a skirt from Urban Renewals. So this is what I was talking about. Our first Urban Renewal piece, which is like, they repurpose vintage stuff, but this is strange because this fabric literally feels so cheap and shiny. I don't even know what they, it does not feel vintage. It feels very cheap. Um, that will go to them. Okay, last piece. I saved this because I figured this looked like a safe piece. Maybe I shouldn't have. No, it's fine. <laughs> Urban Outfitters tank. Not my style, but. Guys, that was a whole box. I'm extremely pleased. Like I really thought maybe I'd find one or two things I wanna list myself. I could honestly list this entire box and be happy. <laughs> but I mean like some of like these two things that I don't really want to list, but I could. Um, so I'm gonna count up all the items. There should be 40. I feel like there's 40 or over um, and let you know. Eight, 39, 40, 41. I counted 41 pieces. Awesome. I'm very impressed with this box. Super happy with it. Um, I think I'll be listing almost all the dresses myself. I think a lot of the t-shirts like this and this and this will be going to buy, sell, trade. I'd rather profit $2 faster than go through all the work to profit $5. Um, but whatever they don't accept, I will list. A lot of the jeans I don't think they'll accept because of skinny fit, so I'll list myself. 
We have, did I only have the one donate? Or was there another one? I think just this one donate. And of course I could come across stains and stuff later, but this box was excellent. I thought the Shein box would be like this just with Shein clothes and it wasn't. I'd say half of the stuff was trendy and half of it wasn't. I just can't believe this. I am shocked. Do I want to recommend this box to you? No, not necessarily because it's a risk that you don't know what you're going to get. And this is the first time, not just with Help Source, I've only used them the two times. This is the first time that I think I've ever ordered like a mystery box and been happy or even seen people on the internet. Usually I'm like, eh, it wasn't the best. Oh, you know what? I've gotten thread up stuff and it's been fine, but I'm mind blown. Leave your comments down below. Let me know if you've gotten this specific box and how yours compares to this one. And if you think I should go buy another one right now, I don't currently, I don't know if they're sold out or not. Alrighty guys, that's all for today. I'm gonna go through and organize this stuff, figure out what I wanna sell myself and what I'm gonna take to buy, sell, trade. And I'm so happy. <laughs> Let me know if you wanna see me do another Helpsy Source box. Leave your thoughts down below. I'd love to know what you think, as I said earlier. And that's all for today. Bye guys.